Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today. As you can see, we have some urgent, urgent price action because we actually broke below this parallel channel on the daily time frame, which is very significant because as you can see in this chart, there's basically just a massive gap below where there's very little support. So we need to take a look at the short term support and resistance levels for Bitcoin right now. So zooming in on the four hour time frame, you can see that recently Bitcoin had this rising wedge pattern, which I did warn about is more likely to break to the downside, which it did. And we basically just sliced through this level of support now flipped into resistance from about 65K up to 66K. However, right now we have actually traded below this massive level of support that is now flipped into resistance from about 60K up to 62.4K. And this is a very significant level that we just lost, which I will talk about in a second here. But first, let's take a look at the support. So in the short term, you can see we got this bounce exactly from the bottom of my support level right here, which is sitting from about 56.5K all the way up to 58,000 US dollars. And you can see that right now we are getting a little bit of a bounce. And this is also because, as you can see on the RSI momentum indicator on the four hour time frame, we have already dipped into oversold territories multiple times. And typically when the RSI reaches oversold territories, it means that in the short term, there is limited room to the downside. So first the RSI needs to reset to around this 50 level right here, because this signifies some neutral price action. And once the RSI has reset, then potentially it can make another leg to the downside or simply go to the upside. And the way the RSI resets is either by the price getting some choppy sideways price action or even getting some bullish momentum, in which case the RSI would move up more quickly and even trend above this 50 level. So in summary, for the support and resistance levels, before I take a look at some important trading patterns, the levels that you need to watch right now is this level of support, which like I said, is from about 58K down to 56.5K, because in the case that we lose this level right here, yeah, we're, we're just going much lower guys, because there is no, there's like no support in between these two levels. You have this big level of support from about 53,000 all the way down to 50,000 US dollars for the price of Bitcoin. So this is definitely the key level to watch in the short term right now. And before I continue with the Bitcoin analysis, if you want to stay up to date with the crypto markets, do make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So now continuing with the Bitcoin analysis, let's take a look at this massive symmetrical triangle pattern. And if you were subscribed over the last couple of weeks, you know that I have been talking about this for ages, even when we were still trading inside the pattern, warning that in the case that we would break to the downside from this pattern, the price target that would be confirmed is roughly 58,000 US dollars, which we have now seen. So the price target is fully reached for this pattern right here. And besides that, this rising wedge pattern that I talked about earlier in the video has now also fully completed the price target at roughly 60,000 US dollars. So therefore all of the active bearish price targets that I had set all the way down to 58K have now been reached. So now it is time for me to start searching for some new patterns in the chart, which I will update you guys on in the next video in the case that I find new patterns. For now though, what we must take a look at is this Fibonacci retracement tool, which is a tool to help identify key levels of support, as well as in the case that we break through one of these levels, what the next significant level of support is going to be for a cryptocurrency, in this case, Bitcoin. So zooming in here, you can see that the last daily close was still above this 60K level. But right now in the short term, we are actually trading below the level right here. So in the case that we close a daily candle below this 60K level, in my opinion, it just does not look good. And the price would actually be looking at the next Fibonacci level below it, which is already at 51.5K. So this is very significant in my opinion, in the case that we see a daily close below this level, especially considering that if we get this daily close below 60K, my margin here, by the way, is like, I will accept up to 59.6K. If it's above that, then we would technically still be holding 
this massive parallel channel right here. But in the case that it doesn't, we simply cannot deny that in the short term, we have just not held this Fibonacci level right here. So the last chance that Bitcoin has to close above this, in the case that we do get this daily candle close below the 60K level, is actually to get a weekly candle close. So where we see some choppy sideways price action for a couple days. And then after that, just before the week closes, we actually trade back above it. And then on the weekly time frame, it will look something like this, where you have some bearish price action, but then eventually it does hold this level before the weekly candle closes. And yeah, in that case, uh, we would just have held this 60K level. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps on the 24 hour time frame, And this chart is very useful to us because typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart. So where the most yellow areas are on this chart, because this is where short term traders get liquidated, meaning they lose their money on their trade. And like I said, typically the price gets attracted, so moves towards those levels. And in the short term, on the 24 hour time frame, we do have a lot of liquidity to the downside and to the upside with, first of all, we got about $30 million worth of liquidity at 56.5K. And then above it, at the same time, we also have some liquidity at about 61.2K and about 61.6K. So in the short term, these are some key levels to watch. However, zooming out a little bit, for example, on the one month time frame, you can see that we just took out a lot of liquidity to the downside right here, talking about over a billion dollars worth of longs that just got liquidated. And you can see that on this time frame, most of the liquidity is still to the upside with the key pocket of liquidity being at about 67.4K where there is about two and a half billion dollars worth of liquidity. However, zooming out on the six month time frame, which is obviously a very high time frame for the liquidation heat maps, but I do think it's significant that we start to take a look at this as we potentially get a daily close below 60K. Because you can see that right here, we just took out a lot of liquidity and there's basically just a giant gap of barely any liquidity until 50K. So you must be aware that at 50K, there is in fact a lot of liquidity that potentially the price might get attracted to. However, at the same time, there's also a lot of liquidity right here at around these all time high levels. So as of right now, the price is simply in between these two massive pockets of liquidity and has just taken out the last big pocket of downside liquidity that is in between these two levels. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin ETF flow tables, you can see that yesterday we had another massive outflow from the Bitcoin ETFs with Grayscale selling about $90 million worth of Bitcoin on Tuesday. And in fact, the only net buyer yesterday was the ARK Bitcoin ETF with about a net buy of $3.6 million. However, the other ETFs are also selling massively. So we got a net outflow of 161 million, which is of course putting a lot of downward pressure on the price action for Bitcoin. So if this trend continues here with all of the boomers and investors of the Bitcoin ETFs taking profits, selling their positions, yeah, then obviously it is more likely that we are going to 50K first because earlier in the year, we saw hundreds of millions of dollars of Bitcoin being bought every day. And that is what sent the price much higher. So in the case that you get hundreds of millions of dollars of selling pressure on Bitcoin, so that will just push it down just as fast as it came in. Now taking a look at Ethereum on the daily time frame, you can see that we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level, then also lost support at the 0.618 Fibonacci level and are right now testing the 0.5 Fibonacci level. So you can see that we already wicked below it. However, we have not had a daily candle close below it. So therefore the 0.5 Fibonacci level at about 28.60 is still a level of support for Ethereum. However, in the case that we start seeing daily candle closes and potentially even a breakout to the downside and a retest, well, then it is more likely that the price starts aiming at this next Fibonacci level, the 0.382 Fibonacci level, which is sitting roughly at about $2,400 for the price of Ethereum. So now to get a better understanding, let's take a look at the short-term support and resistance levels that you need to keep an eye on for ETH. So zooming in on the four hour time frame, you can see that yesterday we lost this level of support now turned into resistance. So the resistance level is sitting from about 3150 up to 3250 and the price simply fell exactly into this level of support 
which also corresponds to the 0.5 Fibonacci level. And this level is from about $3,000 all the way down to 2850 for the price of ETH. So like I said, in the case that we see a breakdown below this level at 2850, then we would be first targeting this level of support below it from about 2720 down to 2600. But then below that, of course, you have the Fibonacci level at about $2,400. So this is a scary time for Ethereum. But as long as we're holding above this 0.5 Fibonacci level, everything should be fine. Moving on, so let's take a look at Solana on the daily time frame. You can see that we also got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level, also lost support at the 0.618 Fibonacci level. However, we have already lost support right here at the 0.5 Fibonacci level in the short term. So the 0.5 Fibonacci level at $133 is now a new level of resistance because as you can see, if I zoom in here a little bit, we already have had this daily candle close below the level. So the next Fibonacci level below it is actually the 0.382 Fibonacci level, which is all the way down at $103 for the price of Solana. So now let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels, because there are some support levels in between the current price and the next Fibonacci level below it. So let's take a look at that now. So taking a look at the four hour time frame, you can see that right here, the price is still following this downward sloping trend line. And whenever the price is below the trend line, the trend line acts as a level of resistance. And whenever the price is above the trend line, it acts as a level of support. So you will see small bounces from that trend line. However, right now we have actually broken below the trend line once again. So it is now acting as a new level of resistance. So the key levels that you need to watch right now besides this trend line is actually this level of previous support now flipped into resistance from about $125 all the way up to $133. And in the case that it breaks through that level, then above that, the next level of resistance is from about $140 up to $150. However, it is of course also possible to just get a rejection from this level and in that case, the next big level of support below it is this support level right here from about 115 all the way down to $100 with, of course, the Fibonacci level sitting right here at about 124, like I talked about earlier in the video. So this could also be a level where you can potentially get a bounce. Now, if you want to join a crypto community, I recommend you join my Discord server with the first link in the description. It's completely free to join and you can leave at any time. It's a very fun place to be, but you can also just ask questions and learn from others. So I highly recommend joining it. This has been today's market update. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.